How's it going guys? Welcome to another video on the channel. So the camera control button on phone cases for the iPhone 16 Pro is the latest talking point. And in front of me, I've got a case that has that camera control cover. And it is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid T case in frost black. So we had the Spigen Ultra Hybrid in frost black with the matte sides and the, with the cutout for the camera control. And then we had the Spigen Ultra Hybrid clear case, which had the, the button, the camera control button there. And now we've got the latest offering from Spigen and it is the Ultra Hybrid T case in frost black. And this one's a little bit different. So let's take a look at this guys. And you can currently pick this case up on Amazon for $29.99. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the box it comes in. And this is the case itself. So take a look at it guys. We have these glossy black sides which are semi-transparent. Just check it out guys. And we have the black MagSafe ring on the back. Here's our button for the camera control and it is black as well to match the case. And it looks like a pretty decent case. So let's pop it on the scale first of all and see how much it weighs. So on the scale, it is 35 grams. So it's it's the same as the, the clear version. And so it's still pretty minimal and quite light. And it is a slim case. So let me bring over my iPhone 16 Pro. So guys, this is my iPhone 16 Pro in desert titanium. And let's pop it in the case. So it's pretty easy to install. It has got those flexible TPU sides and this is how it looks with the desert titanium. And I think that's a very classy look indeed. That looks pretty nice. And um, I think the contrast with the frost black goes quite well. Just check it out guys. I think it's a good match. And we can still see the Apple logo in there which is really nice to see. And um, yeah, this is how it looks. So we do get some slim TPU borders around uh, the borders of this uh, phone. And we get that air cushion technology. So these air pockets in each corner to give you some more drop protection. Let's look at the cutouts down the bottom. And they are perfect, as you can see. And we don't expect any less from Spigen. Um, how are the buttons? We do have these built-in button covers there with the air slits. And they are very clicky indeed. Let me bring it to the mic. That's volume down. Volume up. The action button. Action button is quite tactile as well. And that's the power button. So we get some really nice buttons on this case. And um, I'm just thinking with this guys that with these glossy black borders, I think there's less chance of it yellowing. Uh, let me know your experience if you've had these glossy black borders on, on any phone case in the past. Do they yellow or not? Or do they yellow but just take a bit longer to yellow? Uh, let me know your thoughts on this. And uh, But I think... When we compare it to the clear case, I think it's going to be better in terms of the yellowing. Um, I think that's a, that's a definite case uh, with this. So let's test out the MagSafe. Let's bring over the Anchor 622 and pop it on the back. Yep, clicks on there nice and secure. And let's just give it a bit of a shake. And the magnets on here are super, super strong. They're really strong indeed, just like the, the other version of the Frost Black, which had the matte sides. Oh, very strong indeed. Hard to take the power bank off even. And let's bring over a Spigen wallet and pop it on the back. And we do get some sort of animation there. And just trying to move it off. It's very difficult to take this off. So it does really, really well with a MagSafe wallet. So no problems there. And yeah, it's a, it's a solid offering. Let's just check out that camera control button there. And let's just test it out. So if we press it once, it opens up the camera. And then if we light press it, we can zoom out and we can zoom in as well. And it works pretty well. And we can take a picture as well. It's quite a sensitive button, so I think it will work quite well with the camera control. And uh, overall, it does a really good job. I'm really impressed by this camera control. And um, so, yeah, it works well. So overall, I think it's a really good case. It feels really nice and slim in the hands. Uh, doesn't add too much bulk to your iPhone. It's only five grams heavier than the app, the official Apple silicone case. And I think it looks really classy with that desert titanium there. I think it will go with pretty much any color iPhone you have this year. So um, no worries there. 
And um, yeah, I, I really appreciate this new offering from Spigen. And I think they've done a really good job with, with this case. I think fingerprints will be not too bad with this frost black uh, back to this case. Compared to a normal clear case, I think you've got nothing to worry about there. Um, but if you just keep a microfiber cloth handy, you can just uh, you can wipe those fingerprints straight off and it'll be nice and easy to clean this this case. Overall, I'm quite impressed. Everything works quite well. Let's just have a look at this screen lip. And as you can see, we get a minimal screen lip, but on any smooth surface, you shouldn't have any worries. In terms of a camera lip, we do get a uh, pretty decent camera lip there as well. So nothing to worry about when popping a phone down on any smooth surface. So this is the latest offering from Spigen, it's the Ultra Hybrid T case in Frost Black. And uh, I think they've done a really good job with this. And Spigen are doing excellent when it comes to the camera control. They're bringing us new cases, uh, which has that button which we want. And that will give us the extra protection and the extra function which we, which we need. So this has been the Spigen Ultra Hybrid T case in Frost Black. If you want to pick up this case, I'll leave the links in the description below. So definitely check those out. And uh, that's it for this one, guys. Take care. Bye.